As an industry, we're in a weird time where it's not always easy to tell the difference between what's an early access and what's a completed game. Mall Empire confuses that even more, as it's a supposedly finished game that should probably be part of Steam's preview program. It's the kind of game that'll most likely change and evolve as feedback begins to roll in, taking a good idea and growing it into something special. Unfortunately, I'm not reviewing the potentially awesome version we'll likely see six months from now, but instead a full release that still feels like it's woefully incomplete. Created by a first-time developer, Mall Empire is a simulator where you build and manage a 2D shopping center. The idea is to buy blueprints, build a bunch of stores, and then watch the money and customers roll in. As the popularity of your mall grows, you'll be able to add new layers, buy new blueprints, and build new stores. Eventually, you'll be able to upgrade the mall and renegotiate rent agreements. It's everything I like about business simulators. At first, it seems almost too easy. Just build a clothing store and bakery and the people will come. But things will quickly escalate as you stack stores on top of each other. One of the tricky parts of the game involves collecting the money. This is not done automatically, so you'll have to click on the dozens of stores to cash in. If you don't collect the money in 30 seconds, you'll lose out, and the employees will get a nice bonus. As you might imagine, manually clicking on all the stores becomes a real headache once you have four or five stories to contend with. As a first-time product, Mall Empire is pretty good. It's easy to play, and I found myself glued to the screen for a couple of hours. Unfortunately, there are a lot of times where it's blatantly obvious that this came from an inexperienced team. You see it in the little things, like not offering an adequate instruction manual, and not giving us a way to speed up time. And that's just the start of the problems. In some ways, I appreciate the simplicity of Mall Empire. This is a game that strips everything back to the bare essentials, just building stores and collecting money. But that started to get tedious after a while, and I, I began to wish that there was more for me to do as the mall manager. Beyond the occasional upgrades, you'll have very little interaction with the stores. Most games in the genre will have you creating sales, adjusting prices, and setting the number of staff members. These are the types of things that could affect the shopping experience, and even push customers to a different mall. But there's nothing like that here, and everything except for collecting money and upgrading the stock is done automatically. The lack of customization is also disappointing. Forget about micromanaging the stores, you can't even name them all. There are advertisements and online promotions that you can purchase to drive traffic to the shopping center, but even that's a little more than pressing a button and watching the results. It would have been nice to pick the images and wording, perhaps personalizing the experience you want the customers to have. Another problem is that there are no stakes at play. You don't have to buy mall security guards to thwart shoplifters or employ a janitorial staff. There aren't stores that run into hard times and have to close down due to a bad economy. You never have to worry about the weather or major events keeping people from the mall, or a local shopping center competing for attention. As long as you're patient and keep collecting that money, you won't run into too many obstacles. Although there's still a lot of work left to be done, Mall Empire has a strong foundation. I can see the developers taking the concept and adding more layers and depth, giving us a simulator we won't want to put down. I'm sure this will eventually lead to a better game, and I'm looking forward to checking in a few months from now. But in its current state, Mall Empire is a fun game that feels incomplete. Hey, thanks for watching our review of Mall Empire. Between this and Slime Son, it's already been a diverse week. That's not going to change going forward, since we're about to review Distoria, Semispheres, and something called Dad Quest. We're also going to be launching a new series where we look at old games to see if they hold up. We're going to start it off with three retro run and gun shoot 'em ups from the early 1990s, including Cyberlip and Midnight Resistance. We'll have more on that shortly, but in the meantime, I recommend you click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.